Hi. In this lesson, we have to solve the radical equations. To solve the radical equation, we have to find the, the number that satisfies the equation. So we have to, let's start, solve number one. And number one is square root of x plus 5 plus 7 equals 12. At first, we have to isolate the square root. So we have positive 7, so we have to cancel to add negative 7 for both sides. Then the square root, the square root of x plus 5 equals 12 minus 7 equals 5. Second step to eliminate the square root by squaring, by squaring both sides. So if we square the square root like this, and then square the other side. So in the right hand side will be 25. In left hand side, to square root, we have to cancel the root. The squaring cancels the root. Then it will be x plus 5. And now to find the x, x will be, we make minus 5 and minus 5. Then x will be 20. Now let's check the answer. In the right hand side, we have 12. And in the left hand side, we have square root. We substitute x by 20. will be 20 plus 5 and outside the root plus 7. So we have the left hand side to be equal to 12, then this will be square root of 25 plus 7, which is 5 plus 7, supposed to be equal to 12. So 5 plus 7 equals 12, so 12 equals 12. It's right. So the answer will be x equal 20. Let's do example number 2. It's the same. We have to cancel negative 2 by adding positive 2 to both sides. Then in the right hand side we will have 6, 4 plus 2 equals 6, and in the left hand side we have only the square root. Then next step to do squaring for both sides. So left hand side will be c minus 2, and right hand side will be 36. Then then c will be equals 38. And let's check the answer. We have square root of c minus 3. We will substitute c by 38. 3 minus 2 supposed to be equals 4. Let's then will be this will be 36 minus 2. Uh, it will be 6 minus 2, which is 4. So the final answer will be 4. So the solution is 4. In example number 3, we have variable on both sides, left hand side and right hand side. So let, let's see how to solve. We will rewrite the equation y plus 1 equals y minus 1. So uh, the square root is isolated already, so we have to square directly both sides to the power of 2. In the left hand side, we will just remove the roots, then it will be y plus 1. And the right hand side, you remember, if we square binomial, it means first squared y, y to the power of 2, and then minus 2y, minus first times second times 2, if you remember, plus 1. Remember, if you have a plus b squared, you have to make a squared plus b squared, and in the middle, plus twice ab. Remember this one. Then let's go, let's return to the example y squared minus 2y plus 1. If we uh, remove minus here and minus y, then minus 1, minus 1, so then this will be 0, the left hand side will be 0, and then this will be y squared minus 3y, and plus 1 minus 1 equals 0, then the final answer will be y squared minus 3y. Let's write here again, y squared minus 3y equals 0. Then we have to take GCF or greatest common factor, y squared minus 3y, we will find the root is, uh, the factor is y, so y squared divided y equals y minus 3 equals 0. In this case, we have to, the product of y and y, three, and y minus 3 equals 0, so y will be equal 0, or y minus 3 equals 0, then y will be equal 3. Let's check the two answers. We have to check the first one, square root y will it substitute y by 0, so 0 plus 1 equals 0 minus 3. In the left hand side will be negative 3, uh, sorry, 0 minus 1. In the left hand side we will have negative 1. And in the right hand side we will have 0 plus 1, square root of 0 plus 1, which is 1. So square root of 1 is 1. And of course 1 not equals 
negative one so it's not answer let's go to the second answer the second solution three substitute by three will be y three plus one and then the left answer three minus one so equals two and here the square root of four which is equal to so two equals two so the only answer is three remember you have to check before after you finish the problem let's solve another example we write this one x minus 3 equals square root x minus 1 so by squaring both sides here we in the right hand side we'll just remove the root it will be x minus 1 and in the right hand side as we did in the last example x squared and here plus 9 and in the middle minus first time second times six times two sorry so it will be six x let's remove this x and this uh, negative one by adding negative x plus one right hand side will be zero and left hand side will be x squared if we subtract x it will be minus seven x and here plus we add one plus ten because we will add one here and negative x here so we have to factorize x squared minus seven x plus ten we have to make like this as we did in the factorization lesson trinomial so x x and because the third sign is positive so it will be like the middle term which is negative negative and uh, 10 we looking for an, uh, two numbers if, if the product is 10 and the sum is negative 7 so it will be 2 and 5 so let's do in this case we will have x minus 2 equals 0 or x minus 5 equals 0 then x will be equals 2 or x equal equals 5 and then we have to check the answers let's check number 2 by substitute by 2 in the equation so to, the first one will be 2 minus 3 equals square root of 2 minus 1 in this case will be square root of 1 and 2 minus 3 equal negative 1 and here is 1 so of course negative 1 doesn't equal 1 so this solution is refused can't be x equal negative 2 can't be so let's try x equals 5 so 5 minus 3 equals square root 5 minus 1 which is 4 square root of 4 which is 2 and in the right hand side 5 minus 3 equals 2 so 2 equals 2 then the only solution is x equals 5. Thank you for watching. Bye bye.